Should you quit weed or just moderate? I get this question a lot on some of my videos and this is my experience and I hope it helps you. I smoked weed for 28 years and much of that time I tried moderating. And the insidious part about weed is that it's very difficult to see the consequences because it is kind of soft and easy and uh, you can manage pretty well in life for a pretty long period of time smoking weed. And it takes a long time to see some of the consequences of it. And when I tried moderating in those 28 years, sometimes I could moderate. And, and what's moderating? Uh, I, I, the recent question I got is, what do you think about smoking at night and the weekends? And um, I tried that. And in fact, in the end, I was down to one hit of weed a day at night after everything was done. The thing that I realized was, was that I'm an addict. And I would spend that day with the eye on the prize of that hit of weed at night. And it was like my, my God. It was like the thing that made me okay. And the amount of energy and lack of focus that that obsession had on me was making me suffer. And I didn't see it for so many years. Actually, that's not true. Um, I did see it for many years and I just kept trying to think that I could moderate and, and again, like I said, at times I could, but most of the time I couldn't. I was just daily and, uh, you know, just looking for that ease and ease and peace that and relief that I got from weed. And I wasted so much of my youth um, and my adulthood um, just escaping on weed. And a, a real challenge in our culture is that people, uh, there's such a, a defensive, um, protective narrative around weed that it's hard to find real support in, in, in quitting it. And because um, I see a lot of young people, friends of, uh, friends of mine whose kids are, are stuck in that cycle. And, and my family, there's a lot of people stuck in that cycle. And um, they can't see that that's a major part of what's blocking them living their best selves. Because the narrative is so, you know, one of the, one of the, the comments I got the other day was, weed addiction, laugh out loud, like weed's not addicting. It was like, I, and that's like the, the, the general belief out there. And if you're watching this video, if you watch my videos, you probably know that uh, you don't need that culture's uh, validation on whether it's addictive or not. You know. I mean, you know if it's, if it's causing you some real consequences. And if you're doing that debate, uh, the scary part is, Again, I might be repeating myself now, I'm making my point. But the scary part is, is you, a lot of the, the, the consequences of wasted time and lack of focus and just under living that you're doing, trying to control it, it you really don't see the consequences of that for, for a long time. And then when you finally wake up to that, you're really suffering. And then, um, and then you, you know, if you're able to quit, You've got, then you have the baggage of all the regret that you have from wasting so much of your life. I mean, that was, that's been a big challenge for me is to, um, is to accept reality that, yeah, I was, yeah, that was my life for a long time, but the past is gone. I'm still alive. You're still alive. Anything's possible. 
But uh, I, I know for me that I had to be honest with myself that I really couldn't be my best self if I was smoking weed in any capacity. And I know that's not a popular opinion. Um, I don't care. Um, that's the truth. And I see it um, harming a lot of people. And that's one of the reasons that I make these videos is to um, speak candidly and honestly uh, about a different narrative. Uh, weeds are, we, weed can really cause you some serious consequences in your life, even if you're just smoking it moderately. I know it's not popular. Not a, I know this is, you know, not a popular view, but um, I think if you're honest with yourself, most of you, some people, you know, might not have those consequences. Um, I don't know any of them. Um, I guess, you know, I'm assuming those high profile weed smokers are as happy and well adjusted as they uh, appear to be. But uh, who knows? So anyway, that's what I got. So clearly my point is uh, I would quit if I were you. I would walk away from it and find some healthier ways to get that relief. Exercise, get some yoga in, work on some prayer and meditation. And, uh, and you can get a more clean relief from life and you can be more open and, uh, and, and build from, um, from a real uh, foundation of uh, possibility. All right, that's what I got. Peace, subscribe if you dig it, thanks.